Hello, today I'd like to show you how to make another block um, with using five inch squares. I just enjoy five inch squares so much. So it, one, one of the things I enjoy about the five inch squares is that you get, can get so much variety within a quilt. So even though some of the pieces are cut down and we're not using them as five inch squares, it gives you a starting point and there's not a lot of wastage usually, so it's really good. So this is a little block that I've simply called rectangles and it's really just three rectangles but it's quite versatile and fun and I've chosen um, for this one to just use three colours, different fabrics but all within colour so I've chosen blue, green and yellow. So I've just made a little stack of three five inch squares on my uh, board here and I'm just going to first of all trim off half an inch off one side of the five inch squares so I've got everything lined up with my board to help me cut and I'm going to cut off just half an inch off the one side of the square. Then I'm going to turn that square around and I'm going to cut that in half now so at two and a half inches. So I'll end up with rectangles that are two and a half inches by four and a half inches so that they'll all work well together. So there I've got my three colours there. I've got my yellow, my blue and my green. So now I'm just going to sew together I've chosen to do the blue on the left, the green on the right, and the yellow along the bottom. Unless, of course, you turn it round. We won't go there. So I'm going to sew those together just with my regular quarter inch seam allowance. This is a very fun quilt. It's quick and easy, and it's great for using some of these novelty prints. But you can make it just as well using completely random fabrics. You don't have to just use three colours. So that seam and we'll just press that. I like to press as I go. I find I get a much better result in the end. So just decide which way you're going to iron it and I'm going to iron towards the blue. So I would lay down my green and I will just let that flip over and you get a really nice pressed seam. And now I'm going to come back and sew my yellow one on. So now I'm going to turn that around and sew the yellow on there. And because I'm doing them all this, with the same colour format for the quilt I'm going to make, I need the blue to be at the bottom so that it's the same. So all the blocks have the same layout, colour layout, if you're doing three colours like this. And then I'm just going to sew that seam. And again back to the iron. This time lay down your two bits and let that yellow flip over with the iron. This would be great for using up uh, all sorts of these novelties in a I spy sort of quilt. So now I've got my block, I've got two blocks the same. So I've, I've actually made some ahead so that I can show you a couple of different layout possibilities. So I've put some together into some strips already. So you could just lay them and you could just, just make long strips. So you're just joining, if you've got your two blocks, you just keep on joining them so that the yellow goes in between all the colours. And so you're getting this line of blue through here and a line of green through there. So I'm just going to lay another strip. So if we lay them out all the same way with the yellow to the same side each time. You can see that you can actually end up with a kind of sashed lot of strips so that you've got this stripe of yellow coming through and then your blue and green will alternate all the way down and that's quite fun on its own. Another option would be just every second row flip it round so just everything's pieced the same initially but you just do one one way and the other sorry, the other way. So if I just flip both of those around like that every second row and then you get an almost sort of basket weavy effect when you stand back and and, and have, have a look at it. So personally that's the layout that I will probably be using. I think that's great. So that's nice and bright and colourful but maybe you don't want to just do it in three colours so I'll just show you another option just using random piecing for the colour placement. I've got a different range of fabrics. I'm actually using up some reproduction five inch squares here and it's, so the same thing I've made my 
strips and you could do it the same way but you'll have a completely different effect because you won't get that single color coming through and all your pieces will be random color placement but the, again if you flip every second row you don't get the same sort of basket weave but what you do get is a very pleasing mix of color so you could do completely random colors all over or you can organize it a little bit more like I have with the bright colors and have your three colors going so there's just another idea for using some of those five inch squares which are just so versatile so this did I tell you the size of the block will be four and a half inches wide and six and a half inches long so that just helps you calculate and that's because we cut them into two and a half inch by four and a half inch pieces so four and a half inches wide six and a half inches long um, and just another great way of using five inch squares thank you